Hello, probably no one. Welcome back to what I think I am now on a different video software because I'm bored of the other one who wouldn't let me do a lot of good stuff. So instead, I'm going to be doing this video on this one and see how it goes. So today I'm going to be talking about the Nashville Christmas Day bomber and all of that crazy stuff that happened and this guy who is pretty much a complete nuthead to be honest, I guess. So, the guy's name is Anthony Warner, and he blew up the RV in front of the AT&T building on Christmas Day. That's not very nice. And uh, this is one of the letters that he wrote to one of his friends, and his friend got the letter six days after the event. He writes, The knowledge I have gained is immeasurable. I, un I now understand everything, and I mean everything, from who and what we are, to what the universe really is. So, as you can see, um, that's, I mean, I guess, I guess that's kind of normal to, to, uh, to say, well, no, 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 it's not, I, I don't know what I'm trying to say, but, uh, no, that's not normal at all, and, uh, this guy is, is starting to seem a little bit crazy, don't you think? And then he goes on to write that 9-11 was supposed to be the end game for the planets, aliens did it. I just threw my note card on the ground for how dumb that sounds, but, um, but, uh, yeah... Yeah, as you can see now that this guy is pretty crazy, uh, I'm going to tell you what his official motive for blowing up uh, an RV in front of an AT&T building is. No one really knows yet. No, Like, honestly, no one actually even knows yet, because the things that he wrote talk about so many different types of of weird crap that we don't even know the official reason that he actually did it, like it could have, it could have been any one of these things. It could have been, it could have been the uh, the suspected chip in the brain. It could have been the five G poisoning. It could have been the the nine eleven aliens, and it could have been because he knew everything. He wanted to show that that he was immortal. We don't know, and I don't think we want to. Yeah. Uh, I don't. I don't even know. It's it's really it's really crazy. I do recommend checking it out for yourself. But I'm also gonna show y'all some body cam footage from that day. And uh, this this first video, this first uh, bit of body cam footage, is from an officer that was passing by the uh, the RV before it exploded. It doesn't explode next to him. And uh, it doesn't it doesn't hurt him. The only person that was killed actually was Anthony Warner, the the suspect. He warned police uh, like hours in advance, so that it, they could evacuate anyone, everyone. So without further ado, here is that body cam footage. So in that clip, you saw that he, even in the uh, the trailer, was blaring out, you know, evacuate now. And it was saying something else at the beginning that I couldn't exactly make out. But it's, that that's, this is a really weird, weird situation. And uh, this next body cam footage that I'm going to show you is from a very chill, uh, abnormally chill, actually, officer that was uh, at his car and heard the explosion and just kind of moseyed around seeing what happened. So I don't know why he was being so chill, but, uh, why? Yeah, why be that chill? I, I mean, personally, I'd be running. 
uh, toward the explosion to see if anyone, any of my fellow officers or any civilians had been hurt. Uh, uh, what was this guy doing? I mean, it, there's no reason to be so chill in that moment. Even a normal person knows that, uh, yeah, big boom equal no-no, bye-bye, run. And that that puts it in in the least smart terms that I could that I could put it in, but pretty much yeah that that's that's that. And this this uh, next ca- camera footage is not body cam footage, but instead is a clip from the side street cam that captured the moment that the RV exploded. So that's what it was saying. It was saying, if you can hear this message, evacuate now, and then went boom. And uh, some of the officers that were walking by also joked about it being like the purge. Because the the voice that was coming out of the, the RV honestly kind of sounded like the purge voice saying, like, evacuate now. Like, uh, I'd be terrified if I heard that. I, I definitely would get away, far away, far, far away. Golly, you'd never see me in that part of town again. Probably not in that city, probably not in that state. Actually, I kind of have to go go to that state a lot. But, um, pretty much, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Um, that's all that I could really cover with my limited knowledge on the, sus- on the subject. But Donut Operator should have a video coming out soon. It's probably already out by the time this video is uploaded, so I would recommend going to check out his channel because he is a lot smarter than me on a lot of these subjects. So, so yeah, that's what I think.